So with Gigabyte at CES 2012, taking a look at the upgraded S1080s. Now the t S1081, and of course, Cedar Trail is the uh, is the big theme here. So it's still a 10-inch screen with a 1024 by 600 uh, display. This one's actually got a matte cover on it. I always tell people if you've got a glossy screen, you can put a matte cover on it. But if you've got a matte screen, you can't put a glossy cover on it. So They've done that here. Obviously, this is a business-focused machine, and the key feature really was the was always the ports that you got on this. And Cedar Trail adds in the HDMI port, as you can see there. So you've got VGA, HDMI. Um, there's the is that the SIM card so slot because this is 3G enabled. USB 3, fan output port there. Going along the other side, uh, lock, volume, full SD card slot there. Another USB, mic, headphone, and of course. Uh, Ethernet is that gigabit Ethernet or just 10100? Oh, it is gigabit Ethernet. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what you can also see, actually, before I show you the dot, let's just take this off and show you the sort of the thickness. It's not the, the the thinnest of devices around, but it's actually, I think, looks pretty good. And yeah, it's again not the lightest of devices around, but it uh, certainly fits as a unique device in the market. There isn't a tablet quite like this. Certainly at this price point, anyway. We've seen this in in Europe. Uh, for sale for under 600 euros, or at least the previous version with the 1080. But anyway, look behind here because uh, this is an interesting uh, docking station for this. And this is one of the things I like about Gigabyte. They always seem to have a nice little sort of accessory. And this docking station, of course, you can imagine buying a couple of these, having one at home, one at work, and then basically being hot desking between the two. It's a little bit unfortunate that the 1081 is only seeded trail because it ha does have an upper limit, of course, to its uh, processing capabilities. It would be nice to see in the future maybe a Sandy Bridge or an Ivy Bridge version of this, taking it up to a sort of full computing experience. But on the docking port there, you've got uh, the normal uh, power, headphone, mic, uh, gigi again, HDMI, three USB, I think that's USB 2s, I'm not sure if the USB 3 is extended there, and a VGA as well. Uh, they've also got some pretty powerful, and we had a listen to this earlier, powerful speakers on this as well. I don't know if I can quickly uh, demo that, see if we can do this. Yeah. Well, if you're not hearing it on the video, that actually sounds quite good. So that's the uh, S1081. It's uh, available pretty much now, I think, 1081. Coming out January, February, and it's a global product, right? Yes. Yeah. So um, we haven't got uh, prices. What's the entry level price point? We expect it to be six forty nine. Six forty nine entry level. Of course, this will have SSD options as well. This one's loaded with four gig of RAM, uh, but it may be entry level at two gig. So bear that in mind. So that's the S1081 with a docking station at uh, CS 2012 with Gigabyte.